Hey hello friends. Welcome to my channel. Now see about Fuel Injector The fuel air mixture is controlled by the carburetor, an instrument that is by no means perfect. Its major disadvantage is that a single carburetor supplying a four-cylinder engine cannot give each cylinder precisely the same fuel air mixture because some of the cylinders are further away from the carburetor than others. One solution is to fit twin carburetors, but these are difficult to tune correctly. Instead, many cars are now being fitted with fuel-injected engines where the fuel is delivered in precise bursts. Engines so equipped are usually more efficient and more powerful than carburetor ones, and they can also be more economical, as well as having less poisonous emissions. The fuel injection system in petrol engine cars is always indirect, petrol being injected into the inlet manifold or inlet port rather than directly into the combustion chambers. This ensures that the fuel is well mixed with the air before it enters the chamber. Many diesel engines, however, use direct injection in which the diesel is injected directly into the cylinder filled with compressed air. Others use indirect injection in which the diesel fuel is injected into the specially shaped pre-combustion chamber which has a narrow passage connecting it to the cylinder head. Only air is drawn into the cylinder. It is heated so much by compression that atomized fuel injected at the end of the compression stroke self-ignites. All modern petrol injection systems use indirect injection. A special pump sends the fuel under pressure from the fuel tank to the engine bay where, still under pressure, it is distributed individually to each cylinder. Depending on the particular system, the fuel is fired into either the inlet manifold or the inlet port via an injector. This works much like the spray nozzle of a hose, ensuring that the fuel comes out as a fine mist. The fuel mixes with the air passing through the inlet manifold or port in the fuel-slash-air mixture enters the combustion chamber. Some cars have multi-point fuel injection where each cylinder is fed by its own injector. This is complex and can be expensive. It's more common to have single-point injection where a single injector feeds all the cylinders, or to have one injector to every two cylinders. The injectors through which the fuel is sprayed are screwed, nozzle first, into either the inlet manifold or the cylinder head and are angled so that the spray of fuel is fired towards the inlet valve. The injectors are one of two types, depending on the injection system. The first system uses continuous injection where the fuel is squirted into the inlet port all the time the engine is running. The injector simply acts as a spray nozzle to break up the fuel into a fine spray it doesn't actually control the fuel flow. The amount of fuel sprayed is increased or decreased by a mechanical or electrical control unit in other words, it is just like turning a tap on and off. Thank you. Bye. See you in next video. Don't forget to subscribe.